Hey everyone! How's it going? It's been a while, but it is I, Douglas, and I'm back for some more streaming. Let me just adjust the volume of the music. Today we're playing some swing jazz and it's pretty... Well, it's pretty... Well... I don't even know the world to, to, to describe this music, but it's just so... So excited! And I hope you are too, because <clears throat> it's been a long weekend and we haven't seen each other in days. And now we're back for more streaming. Also, hello and welcome everyone to this stream. <clears throat> uh, you guys are seeing a lot of things. Uh, I'll give them a quick read. But before we get into that, uh, thank you so very much, Nirmos, for following me on Twitch. Uh, so much is going on. I can't, I can't. I can't even process everything that's going on. Let me change the art screen and see what you guys are saying. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Sam! Welcome to the stream. Also, welcome, Chandler, Bones, Kaze, and Neko. Welcome everyone. Uh, last stream I did well on Tuesday. I don't remember. I think I did some more sketching, perhaps. But Friday I played the last uh, Tomb Raider game. I finished it, and everyone was here, and it was great. But now we are going to move to the next game, possibly this Friday. And until then, I'm gonna stream some more art for you guys. <clears throat> uh, also, what else is going on? Yeah, you guys are talking about the music. It is very, very <clears throat> excited and I don't know. Today I thought about doing something more lively than what I have been doing so far. And I think this one works pretty well. And welcome to the stream as well, Nirmos. Glad to see your faces in here. Also, I'm a silly boy, I forgot to announce on, on Discord that I'm streaming, so let me do that real quick. So, today I have nothing really planned, I think. <clears throat> Let's see what what we have here for today. I last week I did two sketches and then I didn't get to color them, but they I think they turned out okay, if not pretty good actually. <clears throat> and let me see. Okay, there we have all the things. So I don't know, for today I guess I'm gonna do yet another patron sketch because I have so, m so many of these to do. <clears throat> Where I could start sketching one of the many commissions I have to do. There's just so much to do though. Okay, let me see. Um, Abel, he has a dog character. Which he has asked me to stream, so maybe I'll go and do that. Also, you guys, how's my voice sounding? I lowered the music, but I think because of the way it was back on when I was playing Tomb Raider, the volume of the of the music might be a little too low. And you guys are saying that it's okay, so I'll believe you guys. <clears throat> and thank you, Neko, for your colorful commentary. And hey, Ben, welcome to the stream. So, yeah, for now, I think I'm just gonna go and do another sketch for. Able, and maybe I'll go back and color those previous sketches. 
because honestly I didn't plan anything for today, I'm just kind of going with the flow. Let's see where it leads me. Let's see. This character is a kind of goofy dog. Is a I don't even know what kind of dog this is. It's a Caucasian of shark. I don't know what, what kind of dog that is. If you guys know, do let me know. Cuz I have no idea. Uh, yeah, cool. Bones. This is a very small family. <clears throat> With you guys being here so often and so frequently. I feel like we all know each other for way too long already. That's great. So, I don't know what to do with this guy, maybe just do a happy dog doing happy things. Maybe. I feel like he's a too happy a dog, so let me see. Also, uh, Jablo and Musica92, thank you so much for following me on Twitch. Welcome to the stream. As well. So lately I've been sketching things that are very angular and don't exactly follow the common proportions and perspectives. So I'll try and do that. I think it might be fun for today's sketch. <clears throat> uh, uh, it's not a Caucasian shark, it's a Caucasian of a shark. Uh, apparently it's uh, some bread of dog i never seen before. Let me type it out in the in the chat, it's an old shark. I think that this is it. I might be wrong. And yeah, I might be going to Google Images like real soon to get a hang of how this boy looks like normally. And in the meanwhile. How have you guys been? How was everyone's weekend? And also Leo, welcome to the to the stream as well. I didn't see you there until quite recently. <clears throat> so I, I was thinking of doing him <clears throat> jumping up, getting a tennis ball in his mouth or something, but maybe just him jumping up in an excited pose kind of sounds fun too. Maybe. <clears throat> Chandler said that they look like fluffier Alaska Malamutes. Maybe, I wouldn't know. I didn't look references yet. And Echo, you said that you... You believe your weekend could have been better. But it was fine, to be honest. And how so? How was it? If you... For into sharing things with us, that is. No. I'll take your word for it and believe that your weekend could have been better, but it was fine. Nonetheless. And thank you, Kaze, for the for the well wishes. I will need luck to draw this super rare animal. And Sam, your weekend has been kind of bad. There are some issues with your new house. What's up with it? 
Is it not ready yet? Not ready to live in yet? You did say there was some explosion or something nearby the other day. So no wonder what's up with, with the whole neighborhood as a whole. <clears throat> and Ben, your weekend was good. You did a lot of ad adulting. Adulting. Whatever that is. Uh, cleaning and food shopping. I mean like adult things. Because if that's so, then yeah, I guess that's what everyone's life eventually turns into, doing a lot of adulting. Yeah. At least you're being responsible, so that's okay. So that's good. And Neku, you said that yesterday was awful. Going to the subway, but it was closed and you got a McDonald's. That's all like an awful way to spend your weekend. Eating food that you don't like. But it could have been worse. <clears throat> you could only have even worse McDonald's. Or or even worse, you could have been gone to McDonald's to buy the burger but found out you didn't have the money to buy the burger so you would have ended up without anything to eat and that's not that's not okay <clears throat> however subway opened when you were just passing when you just passed from McDonald's that doesn't sound good and mostly alone too Leo you said your weekend could have been better my new friend could not pull it in no show that does not sound good either. And <clears throat> Sam, your new house doesn't have internet, and the explosion was actually for demolition. Huh. But, well, <clears throat> at least everything is okay, I think. But uh, so far as the internet issue goes, maybe you can use your cell phone and some super, super slow cellular internet like 3G and what's up and whatnot. <laughs> and Neko you said like problems with family and stuff and all and stuff so you don't know but you saw the police dog go. And I uh, and that was good, I mean that possibly was good enough for the whole weekend. Like it made the whole weekend much better because of the police dog. <clears throat> It's a it's a photo that Neku took on somewhere I don't know where exactly, but uh, it's a uh, of of uh, the police force back in my home state, and they had a dog in the car. It was super cute. And the pose is him jumping. It's kind of supposed to be, I don't know how to do this yet, but uh, maybe that pose won't even work. I, I might might be better off doing something more casual, more. more. I don't know, something cool looking. And like, he's a good boy, but he's, he, he tries to be a. He's trying to look like a bad boy, but he's all actually a very good boy. And yeah, great. Uh, this is the picture Neku sent. I'm gonna show it here because I love it so much. It's a a police doggo, and it's super, super, super fun. And it made me happy to see that. The police dog being so 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 responsible, law abiding and this such. And I liked it. Thank you for just sending that to me. Uh, Leo, if, as if he'd actually showed up, he may have been able to fix to help fix your laptop. As to be able to work with the hotel's network once again. That's that's no fun. Um I don't know how that works, but maybe you can ask the hotel people for help? 
I don't know if that's a thing they might be into, but but uh, it's it's I think it might be worth looking into. So I'm gonna also you know, tilt his head a little bit, and I don't know what you guys want or prefer. Mm. Um, if I should go into Discord and voice chat with you guys, because I honestly don't have a lot to say today about everything, so I don't know, maybe chatting with you guys would be more entertaining than just me saying, I don't know, quite, quite some few more times. But you guys would rather. Meanwhile, you guys are up with the cute, cute and cool poses of dogs and such, and they're super fun. And Chandler, you said that you rarely have anything to say, you just like to hear people talk while sitting. They're in the room, taking the atmosphere. That's fun. But, um, yeah, since I don't have anything actually used for or helpful to say, I'm just gonna go into the Discord or chat. And if you guys want to join in, you're welcome to do so. Your voice might come out a little low because of the whole music thing. Uh, you're welcome to join me anytime. So let me see. Like I said, I don't even know what to do with this guy, so maybe I'll just try and do his head first. Something more, more pensive and thoughtful. Something like is thinking, am I, am I really a good boy or am I maybe a not so good boy? What's up with my doggish life? <clears throat> and burning languages, some might make it spoopy by calling it lurking. And Sam, you normally don't have too much to say, but you always improvise, so you can become better at com conversation. And yeah, that's the thing you guys should do, amongst other things. But yeah, improvising sometimes is the way to go. However, Chandler said that improv is a non-existent skill that you possess. And I don't know, it could be worse. It could... Uh, it could... Well, there's many ways this could be worse. There's many ways this could be better too. You could have been an improv master and be able to come up with the randomness of subjects. Speaking of which, there is a Twitter as I follow. Um, I don't even remember exactly what name it is. I think it's What the Fuck Fact or WTFF. Um, and it's a fun Twitter account that pretty much uh, treats random facts, factoids, about pretty much everything. And every now and then I give it a, a brief, quick look. And there's so much random stuff in there, and many of those are great conversation starters. Uh, from the top of my head, I don't remember any fun or interesting factoid but do give it a look it's gonna be a great help for you guys you good boys and girls who struggle with conversing with other people Leo sadly the hotel people aren't are total, totally clueless about their network you don't even know the physical location of their Wi-Fi repeaters that's sad an echo you're saying that you're hungry you're asking. Um, in class. Gotta go. 
Oh, okay. Hey, Neo. Uh, thanks for showing up, and I'll see you. What show is there? Um, sorry, Neko. I don't have any food to give you, so you have to to deal with not having with your not having food situation. But uh, I I can give you food, but I can give you a company and also an awesome environment to be in. So hopefully that's enough. Uh, Chandler, said you follow cool video game box art on Twitter, they mostly shout out game anniversaries while showing the original art for it. That's pretty cool as well, too. I'd like to see that someday. Also, Bones, you said the politics help start conversations. And Chandler, you asked if it if that's Kirano. And no, that was uh, Neo, he was in the Discord with Chad. He joined in real quickly, said he's in class, and left. So no, it's not him. But um, I, I did remember one of the cool, cool facts from the WTFF Twitter account. One of them was something like... I don't know which car brand, I think BMW. <clears throat> they did a April's Fool joke. That if you showed up of their in any of their shops and and had a coupon, the first of April coupon from the from the journal, uh, they could redeem a free car, like a free brand new car, and nobody bought it because they thought it was a first of April joke. Apparently, only one woman went to the store and uh, with the coupon, and she said, "Hey, is this a thing?" And, the, and then the pretty surprised the clerk said, "Yeah, it actually is." And she got a brand new car for free. She was the only one person who did that, and she's the only person who who got a, who got a new car completely out of nowhere, almost. And apparently, BMW has never done that in the following years because, well, who knows? And who knows even why they even did that to begin with, I mean, it's not like, well, I mean, maybe BMW kind of has the power and the resources to be giving away cars, but I don't know, it feels like, it feels expensive, nonetheless. But you guys should be do, should do that some of the, some of these days, you should go and be like, hey, if you come up to my house, I'm, I'll cook you free food, and wait and see who shows up. And I don't know, maybe you guys will make new friends through that. And you relate to this drawing on a spiritual level already, says Chandler. And I don't know why, but I'm glad you do. And Sam, you said you know the perfect pose. Maybe this, but maybe this one, but with both hands. Let me look into that. This pose drawing ascent. Cause I don't know. Um Yeah that could work, but I don't know. I don't I don't think the the patron would be into that. So let's keep it simple for now. Let's just start with the head, like I like to do. Let's start with the head, finish it, then work uh, work our way down the body. Let's see how that how this goes, and hopefully we won't even need to work our, our way down the body because, like you guys know, I'd much rather avoid drawing legs. Because uh, so, no, I don't want to draw lights. Unless it's a silhouette kind of like for more human like drawings. Because steel legs actually do help the whole, the whole dynamics of the pose and this such. 
But when it's a pinup illustration legs just exist to fuck you up. Because they are hard to draw and sometimes they can look wonky and there's perspective and yeah, it's just it's just not a whole lot of fun. And yes, Bone, you can always offer people food. That's something. That's another way to start. That's another great way to start up a conversation. And Chandler, you cook. They'll get a bowl and some cereal. Maybe they'll have to bring in their own milk too. Yeah. But no, it's it's, it's still it's still an invite. I mean, as long as you set in some previous rules, I think people will be glad, nonetheless. So maybe, maybe, maybe try that some of these days. Be careful, still. That's not the sort of thing you should be randomly be doing. Okay. So this big boy apparently has floppy ears. Also, I think now might be a great time to look up some Google image references onto this whole Caucasian of shark. Kind of dog. You have a CH, not an S. And it's a kind of a chef dog. That's fun. And he's super, super fluffy. I mean, look at this. Look at this little boy here. This little big boy here. He's, he's a very big boy. I'm gonna paste in a little reference pic picture real quick into the canvas because this can only help. Lay it down, make it more transparent, and let's go back to this one drawing. Let's do this. Let's do the big boy. <clears throat> uh, Sam, since everyone is talking about food, not everyone, but not, not anyway, I'll give you some dessert ideas. Um, dessert, I mean, there is one dessert, I, my favorite. Nobody that I know knows how to make this one. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Sorry, you guys that are not Brazilian. I don't know if this dessert exists anywhere else. But uh, Sam, if you want, you can try and make Maria Mole. I have no idea what goes in it. I think it goes like just water, sugar, and something else. Maybe some sort of thin flour or, or eggs. I, I feel like it's possibly just water, sugar, eggs and something else very bad. But anyway, I like it. And Chandler, yes, I did. Just import the image into a separate layer and lower the opacity for reference because that's amazing. That's something every artist out there should be doing. It's super helpful. Let's lower the opacity even more. Apparently, this Caucasian boy he has a very short muzzle. How unusual. Also, what else was I gonna say? Um, Sam, you're trying to decide between coffee cake and ice cream cake. Um, do coffee, I think. If that's if that's your guess. And no, Chandler, that's not Mario Morning. It's it's what it's what it's what Sam and King said. King uh, Neku, actually. Um, Sam, you don't really like that, you like Palmier. I don't know what that is, but anyway. <laughs> and King, that was 
Neku, that was a... That was a silly joke. You silly, silly boy. And Chandler, you use the sub view for your ref, maybe you'll try your method to see if it's more user friendly. I don't know, the sub view, I don't even know how it works. I mean, I think people were using it and whatnot. I, I think I figured out how to use it one of these days, but since I'm right handed, the sub view kind of would stay on top, would stay below my hand, so I would, wouldn't still be able to see anything. So I don't know. And I've been drawing like this since forever, so I mean, at this point, why even bother changing? Besides, using reference like this is way more convenient sometimes because you're drawing right where you are seeing the things, so it's easier, convenient, and super, super, super friendly. For me, at least. Yeah, maybe someday I'll try using the sub view again. But then again, I don't always draw using a lot of references on the canvas because I have a second monitor, so I can just look up and check the drawing again. However, during the streams, checking up for uh, checking up for references is kind of hard because I have to manage a lot of windows. So putting the reference on the canvas is my best option in this, in this case because then I don't have to keep swapping windows. However, uh, most of the references I can't I can't import into into the canvas because it will show up on Twitch, and most of these references aren't Twitch friendly. So you know how that goes. And this character here, he has some very cartoony eyes, and I like the way this character is drawn. And his eyes and whatnot. But maybe I should give him a more white looking eyes. Wider. It'd be something like uh, he's a very pensive boy, thinking about all the good deeds he's done in his good boy's life. Something like, hey, maybe I am a good boy after all. Let's close his eye a little bit, lower his brow, eyebrow, to, into something more relaxed, something more chill. I'm putting his face a very big goofy smile. Something like, ha ha, I am a good boy after all. I do deserve all kinds of treats. Some sweet treats. But now it's looking kind of even. It's looking kind of weird. I will have to be a little more tactful with how I do his eyes. Maybe smaller, just looking up this time. Hmm, something like this maybe. Maybe. if this goes. Um, wow, you guys said a lot of stuff. Mm. Sam, yes, but these are so good, it's really sweet. Whatever it is, you showed up there. The palm mirrors. Um, oh, those cookies. I have, I didn't even know what those were called. Now I know, but I'll forget. We'll see. Mm. Chandler, you said a pensive boy. Sam, you said sometimes there are soft. Uh, here are the soft ones and the crunchy ones. Huh. Leo, you asked Douglas, small 
Spanish pronunciation uh, is, is the generic name for a number of sauces or originally used in Mexican cuisine as well as for dishes based on these sauces. Outside of Mex Mexico, it often refers especially to mole poblano. And I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're right about that. I think it's called that because in Portuguese mole means soft. And it's a, it's a, it's a candy that's pretty much just a soft blob of sugary sweetness. And I don't know, people just call it that. I don't think it's actual, the, it, the actual name of the dessert, it's just what everyone calls it, so nobody knows it by any other name. But, um... I don't think it has anything to do with the Mexican sauce. Spanish sauce, Mexico, I don't know. Uh, but that's my guess, I think. Uh, also, hey Terry, welcome to the stream. And you moved to your aunt's house, so almost couldn't join today. But, uh, but uh, welcome, and I'm glad you managed to. And... <clears throat> Neku, now that you think about it, you, you're asking if I do know your name, and I do not. Actually, I think I do. Um, I kind of do, I guess. If I, I, if I were to, if I were to look into it, I, I could probably find out what your name is, because it's probably somewhere in the back of my head, or in my files, I think. But uh, if I'm not wrong, it's either a name with D or G, if I'm not mistaken. Other than that, right now I don't have the mental power to process this drawing, process the conversations, and look into what your name is or might have been. Uh, Sam, I also forgot to give everyone those their daily dose of kisses. Yeah, that's super nice of you, Sam. Everyone needs their daily doses of kisses. Just as I need a lot of a lot of water to keep doing the talkies. And Leo, you said it's more like egg white merengue. That is just highly wiped sugar egg whites, and I yeah I think that's that's what I think the the, the candy is basically. So if that's also the the Spanish sauce you said, then sure thing it's the same thing. But yeah, like I said, I think it's just water sugar in uh, the white of the eggs mixed together. Until they became a sauce thing, they cook it and it becomes a this sweet treat that I love, love to that. And I don't know if that's a thing everybody does, but I think you can also put in shaved coconut on top of it, shavings of coconut on it, and it tastes great with those. <clears throat> um, Neko, you said G because you're gay. So, well, I can guess a couple of names then. And uh, Sam, it's easy to know your name. You just need to look at your profile name. And yes, I I guessed your your name. Especially Sam, I think it's a quicker nickname for what your name is. So, I don't know, let's stick with Sam. Unless it isn't, then shit. He did do as a good confuse. And Chandler, you're gonna go mobile, need to consume the meal used for the purpose of breaking the fast during your daily unconscious time. And sure thing. I'll be seeing we'll be seeing you later here, Chandler, and hopefully your mobile works. 
and have a great one. And Terry, you hope your his phone version works better than yours. And yeah, the phone version of Twitch seems super buggy when it comes to texting, sending messages and chatting. When it comes to watching, I don't think it's there, there isn't much in how it can do it right because that's the whole point of the mobile thing. But the shedding, I feel like the shedding is really iffy on the mobile version. But then again, some people are in just for watching, not for actually chatting sometimes. So I don't know. Okay, he. This big boy, he has a lot of neck fluff, so let's give that to him. Mm. Leo said that coconut, you miss coconut since you became allergic to it last year. And now that you said so, I do remember you saying something about you becoming allergic, I don't remember how that came to be though. Could you refresh us with a little story time on how you became allergic to that and all the other things you said you became? Because I, I, I'm sorry, but I kind of forgot. It's been a while since you told us that history, that story. So what else is going on with this big, with this big, big dude? Let me see. He has a. I don't even know what that is. From the reference, it looked like a sweater shirt, kind of. And he has a little, little bit of hair. So let's give him a little bit of air as well. So we do feel super silly, jovial hair. And Leo, it was a nature's it was nature's birthday gift to you last year. Huh. So just randomly like that, we became allergic stuff. That's out here. But um, but yeah, if if it if it, uh, if it makes you feel be any better, I also haven't had coconuts since forever. And I miss it as well. Okay, so now we have. A, he has a little bit of hair. But he also has a kind of a, a snow beanie thing going on. So let's put it in. Because he's a boy who lives in cold areas, so he needs a lot of weight to protect himself from the cold. And he does that by using this hat thing, I forgot the name. So he uses that, and that's great for him. Because now he can be a warm boy. Still, despite everything, I'm still not very feeling very a uh, hooray with this pose I'm drawing him in. Because it, it seems like there's not not a whole lot going on. It's just like him standing there. Maybe I'll need to go and think this pose over. Maybe redo it from from the ground up. But it was good, at least as a practice, to uh, see how this big boy looks like and how he fits into everything. So 
So yeah, let's let's erase this drawing. Let's start. Let's start over. This time with a more with a better idea of how of how to do things. So let's let's give it a little thinking just to make sure we have some some ideas before we get into a whole the whole new kind of drawing situation that we are going to subject ourselves into. <coughs> and Leo, you said that you finally became allergic to a couple more of your <coughs> family allergies, the major one being coconut. Yeah, that, that's, that's really... That sounds really like a whole lot of not fun. Um, Awapka says Chandler. I don't know. It's kind of a took. I think it looks like a took. I don't even know if that's the actual word. Um, Terry, you ask, does he have a Twitter account? You want to see his persona? And he does. Um, I'll import the reference here just so you guys can see. Leo, your older brother has been allergic to, to coconut since his birth, and both of your parents have become allergic a few years back. And it stands now only your little sister can still have coconut. That, that, that sounds really bad. But I hope you guys have had your share of coconut during your lifetime. Because coconut's super cool. Okay, so let's delete that because despite that being a very good reference, I don't know if that's okay with Twitch. But this is the character, um, Yuri Petrov, is a Caucasian of Shark boy, and this is the character that I'm trying to draw. So I'm gonna go and keep this reference in the file because it's certainly gonna be helpful. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna just go and do a quick silly drawing of this dog boy. This is the right position for the drawing. <laughs> okay. So I have a few references in place. I have all I need to go and do the drawing. Let's go on. <clears throat> Neko, you ate a nice bowl of rice and tuna and ketchup. Ugh. I don't know if that's a good combination, but anyway. <clears throat> and Chandler. Coconut is kind of disgusting. I disagree. I find it very lovely. Leo, Toke is a neat hat or cap. Where it has been known in English since, 15, since the 1500s. But uh, I wouldn't. I would not have known. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. And Sam, you don't really like coconut, so you don't like prestigio. And I also disagree, I love it. I love it to death. But it could have had more bitter chocolate or dark chocolate actually. Because I, I I'd rather dark chocolate than normal chocolate, milk chocolate. And they don't do precision with dark chocolate. If they did, holy shit, I would eat that every day. And Neku you said don't know if this is a good combination. Says the guy who likes Maria Mori. And that one's actually good. Otherwise they would not be selling it so much. And and was it? Uh, I don't know, I, I don't think ketchup mixes up so well with so many things. 